Hey guys, so I am back and I'm here to do a review and swatch video for the new Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kits or contour cream kits and these are available on the Anastasia website as well as on Macy's.com and also available now in Macy's with the impulse section. So if you have a Macy's store that has the impulse section available then you can go and check these out because Anastasia is debuting some of her products or most of her line in those Macy's impulse stores. You won't be able to pick this, these up at Sephora or Ulta from what I understand, just not yet. Maybe in the future they'll be available there, but for now they're just available online, Macy's and AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, as well as in-store at Macy's that has the impulse section. So price-wise, these are $40 each and you get six individual colors and these are 4.5 grams or 0.16 ounces each and they are cream products and you get three highlight and corrector shades or two highlight and one corrector shade and then three contour shades available in each palette and they are removable and I do believe they're gonna have individuals available soon because they are removable pants so I'm sure just as how they did the contour powders you're gonna be able to buy refills and create your own palette that's my prediction I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that they do that because that would be a great option for you guys who don't necessarily want to buy the pre-made sets, you want to go ahead and swap out colors and build your own kit. Of course you're going to compare these to other cream contour kits on the market because contouring has taken over this generation and everybody and their mama is contouring and cream contours are like the new sensation and you have a flawless contouring palette with five shades from Laura Mercier for $50 and that is a higher price obviously as this is only $40 and you get six shades versus five shades over here and the Laura Mercier products actually they contain a little bit less than the Anastasia Beverly Hills and for a higher price they also have cover effects palettes which have four shades in them and those are $48 so you're still paying more you're getting two colors less and those are have two highlighty shades and two contour shades and they have various colors so you can pick and choose for different skin tones different undertones but again you're spending more for those those are $48 with far less products and then you also have the Stila um, contour duos that are $40 each but there are only two colors in there you do get a significant amount of product but again there are only two shades available even though I do think that duos are probably a better bet for individuals, you can only, you can pick a color that works for you. So you pick a contour and a highlight color that works for you and that will be your go-to versus having a palette that is more geared towards a professional that's going to mix and match and do different skin tones and skin colors. You may not need all six colors for yourself individually. It's more of a makeup artist thing. But if you're more into customizing colors and creating your own shapes and maybe changing changing up your look every now and then, then you might gravitate towards a larger palette with more colors in there. So it depends on your personal taste. You might go for a duo over a like a six color palette like this. But I feel like this six color palette, you're getting bang for your bot because you're spending $40 but you're getting six shades and you can mix and match and kind of customize your colors and your shades to fit your face or your mood versus only having two colors for $40 still you're getting less product but you're and you're only getting two colors even though that may be something that you may still just use up you'll use it up completely this I think is more versatile for the same price now there are three sets available you have a lighter set this is the medium kit and then this is the deep kit and there is a pale kit that is coming out that is going to be for much fairer skin because the light kit is still a little bit deep for those who have really light skin. I feel like the deep kit does go very deep and it will be good for deeper skin tones but I do think they can go a little deeper as well even though I think this really did it it got it right it got close to the deepest skin tones and this will be these two will be very versatile for the majority of darker skin ladies such as myself and that's what I'm here to talk about right and I think darker skin ladies and tan skin ladies are actually winning in this case because we did get two out of the three sets that are great for our skin tone 
they go deep enough they're great skin colors for us and I think we're just winning in this case so thank you Anastasia for keeping the darker tan skin in mind so let's go ahead and look at the packaging of this product so here's what the actual palette looks like. It has a see-through window in the lid so you can see what the colors are inside the palette. It has the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo and the description of the palette which is the contour cream kit. And then on the back you'll see all the product description, the ingredients and the shade descriptions. And you'll see all the names here and they're color coded to match the actual colors in the palette which I thought was a nice touch so you'll know exactly what name correlates with what color in the palette instead of trying to guess it sometimes when it's just names. This way you know exactly what shade matches up to the names. The palette itself is hard cardboard, but it has this kind of shiny, plasticky finish to it. So it feels nice and secure and sturdy, and it feels slick. It doesn't feel like cardboard material at all. And then inside the palette, you have the six shades lined out. You have the three highlight shades at the top, and then the three contour shades at the bottom. And as you can see, they do have tabs. So you can lift these out and I'm assuming there are going to be refills of these as she does with her powder products. So this way if you really enjoy a color and you run out of it you can go ahead and refill that in the future. And there is a protective plastic sheet insert in the palette that I suggest you hold on to. Sometimes we just get rid of those but I suggest you hold on to these because these are cream products and the more protection you have over them the less likely they are to dry out quickly. And then the palette is held secure by a magnetic clasp and the magnet is right at the front of the flap. So it's not the most secure. I like to have like a snap fit clothes, but it does still hold securely for what it's worth. And if you're worried about it wobbling around in luggage or while you're traveling, just put a rubber band around it to hold it securely in place. Overall, I think it's a great design. I think it's very functional. It is only a magnetic clasp, so it's not the sturdiest. I prefer something that snaps closed, but still, it's a very sturdy package and it won't go sliding around in your suitcase or luggage if you're traveling with this. And it's sleek enough and thin enough to be nice to store. And I like the fact that it's a see-through lid so you can see the products, see the colors versus the all-black lid that you couldn't see before with like the powder contours. I think this is a great design. I think it's very functional. And I love, love, love that it has the colors on the back so you don't have to guess which color is which. And I just think this is a great design for the kit overall. So let's just go into the swatches of this product. I'm going to swatch them on my arm and what I'm going to do is swatch the three lighter shades in the medium palette, the three deeper shades. These happen to be crossover shades in the dark palette so I'm really only going to swatch nine colors but it's actually covering all of the 12 colors in the palette because there are some crossover shades in both palettes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shades in the medium palette. This shade is Banana, next we have Cream, this is Warm Coral, this shade is Nude, here we have Cinnamon, and the last shade is Chocolate. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Deep Palette. The first shade here is Nude, which is also in the Medium Palette. Then we have the shade Coral. Here we have Cinnamon, which again is in the Medium Palette. Then we have the shade Chocolate, again in the Medium Palette. This is Espresso, and the last shade is Carob. So now we're going to go into the swatches, and there are three overlapping shades in the palette, so I'm just going to swatch the nine shades that are unique, starting out with Banana, which is a creamy pale yellow shade. This one I was afraid would be a little bit too light on my skin tone and as you can see it is very pale, very light, but if you mix it with the other shades I'm sure you could make it work. It just isn't my favorite shade to use, but the obsession with banana and yellow undertone, pale yellow undertone colors is just a phenomenon that I cannot get with. Next up is the shade Cream which is a light creamy beige shade. This one has a slight peach undertone 
that one I could see using as a highlight color. It's a little bit more natural. It's a little bit more blendable and believable on my skin tone. Then we have the shade Warm Coral, which is a warm peachy coral shade. As you can see, it definitely has that pinky salmon color to it, which is good for neutralizing dark under eye circles, blue and um, purplish hues in the skin. So that would be a great corrector shade if you have those dark under eye circles. Moving on, we have the shade Nude, which is also in the deep palette. These three shades are unique to the medium palette. This shade now is in both the medium and the deep palette. This shade is a peachy nude shade. Actually would work great for a highlight. It's gonna work great to cancel out darkness again. If you have deeper skin, that's a good shade to cancel out darkness and also use as a highlight shade. Here we have Cinnamon, which is a repeat shade in both the medium palette and the deep palette. This one is a warm tone, deeper brown shade. This one looks almost orangey on my skin tone. This is gonna work to warm up the skin, not so much as a contour, but to add warmth to the skin, a little bit of depth, a little bit of a tan, you know, warm undertone. It's gonna give you a rich, like, healthy glow to the skin. And then we have the shade Chocolate, which again is a repeat shade in the medium and the deep palette. This one is more of a contour shade now. It's a deeper, richer espresso brown. It does still have a lot of warmth to it. Again, you can use it to warm up the skin. It's going to be more of a color that you use to add shade and dimension to the face rather than adding true shadows and contour. Now moving on to the unique shades in the deep palette. This first shade is Coral, which is a deeper, richer, orangier version of Warm Coral. This one is definitely a warm kind of burnt orange shade. This is gonna work well again to cancel out dark circles, to hide dark marks and hyperpigmentation. This will work well on deeper skin tone to cancel out those dark marks and give you a nice even canvas to apply foundation. Then we have the shade Espresso, which is a deeper shade than the chocolate shade. This one has more of a red undertone to it when compared to chocolate. This one's going to work well on darker skin tones with red undertones in their skin, again, to add dimension to the face, not necessarily as a true contour, even though it would work to add shape to the face. And then last up, we have Carob, which is the deepest shade in the palette. This is, again, a nice, rich, deep shade. This one has a little bit more yellow to it rather than red, and this one will work really great as even as a contour shade. I don't think any of these shades are true contour shades, but they're gonna work well to shape and give dimension to the face, especially on deeper skin tone where we have more warmth in our skin, more oranges, more yellows, and more golden undertones, and even some rich reds. So here you have all nine shades swatched on my arm. Again, these three shades belong to the medium palette. And then the middle three shades are actually shades that are included in both palettes. So you have crossover colors here. And then the last three are palettes that are unique to the deep palette. So now that you've seen the swatches and you've seen the different colors in the palette, if you want to see a full demonstration of me using the actual products on my skin, I've done a separate video for that and I'll link it below and you can see me use the products and see me use the different colors on my skin. And then we can jump into the performance of the products and what I think of the overall formulation and the color selection. First things first, I have to say that I think the color selection is very warm. These colors are not true contour colors in the sense that they're not 
grayish undertone they don't have that taupey undertone that a natural shadow would give you it would give you a gray cast on your skin so they're not true contour shades and a lot of makeup artists a lot of people that are into true contour colors are gonna kind of stay away from these palettes because there are very warm colors you can see the oranges and kind of some of the reds in these shades they are very warm colors but what I found was because they're warm colors, they work really well on deeper and tan skin. You would think, oh my gosh, they're not going to work on me. They actually work really well. And I found that out from using them. I can see these not being good at all for paler skin because paler skin, especially those with pink undertones, are going to have issues with these just looking too orange, too warm on their skin tone, especially if they don't have a tan. If they have a tan, then it, they can work it in and make it look like a tan skin. But if they don't have a tan and they're pale, this is not going to look that great. If you have olivey undertones, tan skin, dark skin, these are actually your best friend and this is why I think we are winning in this arena because these are more suited for our specific skin tones. What I will say is that it can get a little tricky, you have to practice with these. They have a corrector shade in these palettes. The, this one is the warm coral shade, is this Carly shade. This is meant for warmer, um, lighter skin tones, not warmer skin tones, lighter skin tones. It helps correct purplish undertones in your under eye area so if you have purpley dark areas this is going to help correct it also around your mouth and you can use if you're deeper skin you would use the orange shade in this palette which is the coral shade right here that would be your corrector shade so we have corrector shades and highlight shades as well as contour shades in this palette and the really great thing about the cream products is that they mix really well together and on your skin they just work really well to give you a very natural look and you can mix and customize the shades according to what you need. The creams themselves are creamy products, but they're not overly creamy and emollient, so they're not gonna go slipping and sliding all over your face. And once they set, they set, which is what you need from a cream product. I would recommend applying these over a liquid or cream foundation or over a well moisturized base. Maybe use a primer as well. These are going to apply really well without much drag or anything. They don't drag on my skin. If you have dry skin, make sure that you moisturize your face really well because these are a little drier in formula. They're not dry, but they are not emollient and creamy and they're not going to slip and slide as easily as you would like. So make sure you have a nice moisturized base, a nice slip on your skin to apply these. For me, I found these really great for my oily skin. They didn't like really get oily or creamy or just too much on my skin. I think these are great for what they're intended for, which is a contour product. They're not meant to be dewy or anything. They're meant to dry down to a matte finish because that's what a contour color does. It's matte. It's not going to reflect color. Like that's not what you want. So I think Norvina did a great job with conceptualizing the formula and making it that drier formula that does dry matte because that's essentially what you do need from a product like this. I forgot to mention that these products are also very lightweight so they feel like nothing on the skin which is essentially what you want from a contour product. Some people use foundations and different concealers as cream and cream contours and highlighters but those weigh your skin down because they're heavier more dense products so they can get very cakey and very heavy on your skin. These products are different. They actually accentuate your skin so they're just meant to be there to add dimension rather than coverage. So they're very lightweight and feel very comfortable on the skin. Also, because they are so lightweight, they're also long lasting on the skin. So they're not going to melt away and move around on your skin. Once they set, they set in place and they're going to last just as long as your foundation or primer or whatever you have underneath it but it's gonna work really well and last very long on your skin so overall I think the formula is great if you have drier skin definitely go for a more moisturized base if you have oily skin these are gonna be so great for you they're gonna be your friend they blend really easily they move really well on the skin I really love this product and when you see my demonstration you'll see what I mean I also think they're pigmented enough where they show up so you have great pigmentation but they're not overly pigmented where it's just gonna be stark and you can't fade them out and blend them out if you don't want that intense color on your skin so I think the formula really got it right. It hits it out the park. The formulation is great. And I think it's also great that 
there is a corrector shade included in these palettes because yes we want highlighters and contours and all that stuff but a corrector shade can go a really long way with helping your face and your foundation look really flawless and even so the corrector shade the highlight shades the contour shades I think they are great as far as which one you should choose I got both the medium and the deep to arm um, ones and I think my use is gonna be mainly the medium one this if you're my skin tone go for the medium one unless you're waiting to customize your own I would go for the medium one if you're about NC50 and deeper, I would go for the deeper one. You're going to get more use out of this one. You can also buy both, but be mindful that there are going to be three shades that overlap. So you're going to get doubles of two, um, three of the shades. So you're really ending up with nine shades. I don't know if that's the best value for your money. For me, it was worth it, not just for the review, but I like to mix up my shades. And in the summertime, I'm going to get a little bit deeper. So... I might want to mix it up, you know, try something new. But I think my, the most use I'm going to get is out of the medium palette. So you don't need both at all. Dependent on your skin tone, you might go for one or the other. I think the highlight shades work really well. The only thing I didn't like was this yellow banana shade. And I'm just like, why does everybody love this freaking banana color? It doesn't look that great. But, again, you can mix the colors. So... It's okay that it's not my favorite shade because I still get use out of it by mixing it with the other shades. So it's not a total loss. So overall, I think these palettes are actually great. They're a good price. Anastasia did a good job with pricing these just right. They may not be for everyone because not everyone wants a palette of six colors. But if you're going to spend $40 on two colors anyway, why not go for six so you have more versatility? You may not need a kit as an individual, but it's still a great value for your money because you're getting six shades for $40, which is really the going rate for these contour products now on the market. But I think Anastasia has these high quality products. If you're into cream contours, these are not necessarily something that everyone's going to love. I think powder contours are the go-to, but if you're into a natural look and you want a really soft look, I think cream contours are the way to go. Tan skin is going to love this stuff. We are going to love this. This works really well for our warm undertones. It actually works really well to warm up our skin. We don't need that harsh gray contour. We can just warm up the outsides of our face instead of using different foundation colors. Just use a contour cream pro product to warm up our skin. Um, lighter skin is going to have an issue with this. The orange undertones are just the warm undertones are going to be too harsh on you. But wait for the paler palette. Maybe there will be some cream contours in that. But overall I think... Tan skin is winning for this one. Hands up, um, hands up. <laughs> hands down, I recommend this product for tan skin ladies, darker skin ladies. I think these are great products for that natural contoured look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, I'll leave links below to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page where you can follow me along. I'll also leave uh, details on the product so you can read the information. And also I'll leave links where you can pick these up. So until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye!